What's up guys, my name is James and in today's video I'm going to talk to you about how to get started in real estate building a real estate business without any money up front. So if you're watching this video, I know a lot of people have a desire to start their own business and a lot of people want to get into real estate because obviously real estate is a very tried and true method for creating wealth and building passive income, but a lot of us don't have a ton of money to get started with. Certainly not the tens of thousands of dollars that it typically takes to get started with a down payment on a traditional investment property. And so in today's video, I want to break down a few of the different models that you can use, a few different strategies you can implement in order to get started building a real estate business without any money up front. Now, at the end of the day, whenever you want to do something that typically requires money, if you want to do it without money, generally it just comes down to being a little bit resourceful about it. So you just have to get creative in your approach to how you get started if you can't just throw money at it. Now, I actually would say that this is the best way to get started if you're new to business or you're new to real estate or really if you're new to just about anything is to get started without any money and have to take that resourceful route because oftentimes that leads to people building a business that is a lot more successful secure. If you start out having to be scrappy and you have to be resourceful, it's a really good skill to build that's going to allow you to be successful long-term in business. And so you'll find that oftentimes some of the businesses that are the most successful long-term end up being the ones that started out without a ton of upfront investment. Having upfront investment can make you really sloppy. You can have the wrong decisions being made. And at the end of the day, you're not really being all that resourceful more often than not. So let's dive into it and let's talk about how you can actually do this and how you can get started without investing any money and start building your real estate business. Now, before I dive in, I would like to ask a couple of things. Number one, if you're new to the channel here, please just subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this. Number two is if you could take a quick second and just press that like button, just a little like button in the bottom right hand corner there, just take a second and click that like button. It helps me out tremendously with YouTube's algorithm. And number three is if you want to learn more about anything that I cover in this video, I've got links down in the description below that I just want to let you know about. Those are going to be really helpful for you to some more in-depth training if you really want to go down this route. So there's a couple different ways to get started when it comes to getting into real estate and starting a real estate business without any additional income, without any additional set aside capital to get started investing into the business. Now, the obvious way, number one, is to find someone else with money who you can leverage as a, as a money partner to get started investing into real estate or get started working on building a real estate business. Now, this can be a really great route to go if you want to partner with someone, but the downside of that is that you're going to be giving away some equity in your deal or in your business in order to partner with that person because obviously you're going to be the working partner that's going to be the brains behind the operation and the labor behind the operation, but they're going to be providing the money. And so there has to be some kind of a split up of the actual equity in the business there. Now, another way to get started is to find some creative way to get started without actually needing to invest into real estate to be able to control it. There's a couple different ways to do this, the most common of which is property management. That way you can actually leverage real estate without actually having to own it. And so it's a really great method because you it allows you the same potential upside or a lot of the same potential upside of being in real estate and the same stability that comes along with real estate without needing the capital upfront investment and without having the risk that comes along with owning a property yourself. Now, traditional long-term rental property management is probably the most stable business that you can get into in the real estate space because you know month after month after month with a really high level of predictability how much money you're going to be bringing in because everyone that you have that's generating you money is paying a consistent monthly amount of rent. Sure, they might default on their rent some months and other months you might bring on more clients and have a better month. So your income can fluctuate a little bit, but for the most part, it's going to remain relatively stable. Now, if you look at short term rental property management in contrast to that, you're not going to have quite as much stability, but you are going to have the same degree of predictability to your business income. What I mean by this is that seasonally, your business is going to change, right? There's likely going to be a high season and a low season, whatever market you're in. There's going to be times when there are more people coming and visiting your city and therefore properties are doing better in, let's say, the summer months, uh, or it could be the winter months if you're somewhere down in like a market like Florida, where a lot of people snow snowbird down there and vacation down there during the winter. So you're going to have those different fluctuations in the market's demand and the amount of income that you're earning. 
Now, even though you've had that fluctuation, it doesn't mean that you don't have predictability in your income. The really nice thing about being in a business like this is that you can actually predict exactly what those seasonal fluctuations are gonna be because, well, they happen every single season. So you can pretty easily tell exactly how much money you're gonna make each month based on the properties that you have in your portfolio. The other great thing here is that by doing this, you have a tremendous amount of upside without any of the downside. You don't have to invest into the properties yourself or pay any money for them. You just get to control them and take a cut off the top. Now, generally speaking, using this model, you're gonna be earning somewhere between 10 and 30% management fees, depending on how involved you are with the property. If you're managing completely remotely and just taking care of the online aspects of managing the property, then the really big advantage of that is you can do it anywhere in the world and you can scale it to all different areas but at the end of the day you're only going to be earning maybe about 10 to 15 percent in management fees whereas if you're taking care of more of the on the ground operations you're focusing in one local area and doing things like organizing the cleanings uh, organizing and scheduling any maintenance that's needed at the property all those things are going to be more valuable to the property owner and so you're generally going to be charging closer to between 20 and 30 percent for your management fees now the nice thing about either model is that you can systemize all the day-to-day -day operations of the business so you can remove yourself from all of those aspects and you can have the business running relatively passively within a few months of getting started and actually building those systems and setting them up. Now, if you are interested in learning more about how to get started using that method, I've included a link in the description down below that walks through a step-by-step -step free training that I put together for you that'll help you to learn the ropes of exactly how to go about getting your first property under management, how to set that property up, and then how to automate and outsource the day-to-day -day operations of the business. Now, this, in my opinion, is the best way to get started building a real estate business without any additional income, without any, any upfront investment into the business for a couple of main reasons. Number one, it's got a lot higher upside potential than most other methods. Now, if you look at something like traditional property management, you compare the two, it's night and day how much more money you can earn on short-term rental versus long-term rental for the same exact property. So you can earn a lot more income on every single property and you're getting a higher cut. Long-term property managers, because of the low touch nature of the business, are generally only earning between five and 10% management fees, which is exceptionally low when you compare that to anywhere from 10 to 30% for short-term rental management. So you're making a lot more money for each property. Granted, there is more work going into it. However, like I mentioned, you can, with the right systems, automate and outsource all those day-to-day -day operations, so you end up making a lot more money per property. That makes it a lot easier to scale, and the really great thing about this is you're also not giving any equity away in your business. You don't have to give a cut of your business to anyone else, and you don't actually have to take the risk on of having additional capital in there to begin with. Even if the money isn't yours, at the end of the day, if you're borrowing money from someone else to get started in your real estate business, you still owe that money back to them. And so it is a risk that you're taking on when you start your business. Being able to get started without taking on any of that risk with your own money or anyone else's in my books is a really big plus. So those are just a few of the many reasons that I think this is a really great method. And that I personally, it's the method that I chose when I was first getting started building my real estate business and getting started without any experience, not having tech skills, not really having a background in the space, and certainly not having a bunch of money to pour into it. This is the method that I chose for exactly those reasons. So again, if this is something that you're interested in and you want to get started building a real estate business, you want to be able to have the freedom to travel and do things you want to do and kind of live life on your own terms, on your own schedule, then recommend checking out the link down below to the free training that I put together for you that's going to walk you through the step by steps of how exactly to do it. I hope this has been a really valuable video for you. If you liked it, then go ahead and just click that like button, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. It does a lot to help me with this channel. And then as always, explore all the other resources that are here for you on this channel. I've got a playlist as well on this YouTube channel that walks through the six crucial steps for building an Airbnb management business, a short-term rental management business. So if you're interested, you can check that out as well. Um, if you want to get up to date with all of our weekly videos, we post two new videos every single week. If you subscribe to the channel, then you'll be notified when the new videos go live. Other than that, that's all I've got for you today. So I will see you in the next video.